Hi, uh, a couple of pieces of house cleaning, maybe one piece of house cleaning uh, before we uh, get started here. And that's the fact that uh, we are not uh, able to uh, broadcast live on Facebook for the time being. It does seem that uh, what has happened is that we have to do some recalibration and, and things like that to get live stream going again on, on YouTube. Did I say Facebook? <laughs> anyway, we we're talking about YouTube and, uh, and we were preparing to do this and found out that uh, live streaming from the app that I'm using, the Prism, live studio app is not possible anymore and I would have to go and get settings which means uh, I'd have to go get a stream key and all that sort of stuff and and the stream key changes from time to time so uh, until I can figure out how to get this thing to work um, I guess uh, from this particular uh, app in terms of live broadcasting it is only going to be Periscope and Twitter. However, it is my intention to get this on YouTube and Facebook Live because I do have uh, a copy of this that will be downloaded onto uh, my device at the end of this. Hope all is well with all of you. I am starting to hate humanity again. I haven't had a, a great relationship with um, with humanity. And I'm not having a great relationship with my age. I will be 64, 65 in about um, good six or seven months and when you get to that point you realize that you have restrictions the fact that as I am trying to talk to you extemporaneously I have to mentally reach for words you can tell that means that um, things are deteriorate rapidly Yes, there are people who are older than I am who probably do much better at certain things than, than I do. But you begin to deteriorate from the moment you are born. In the beginning, you progress more rapidly than you deteriorate so you don't really see it or feel it but eventually when you get to a certain point you mentally stop growing organically yeah you can grow your brain by reading and being active and all that sort of stuff and I and I and I do that I, I, I do that a lot but eventually somehow all of that will catch up with you and the deterioration will begin if it has not begun already. My ability to communicate, which used to be stellar. I, I was uh, in radio for many, many years. And I've gotten jobs that I probably would not have been able to get because of the fact that I am able to communicate. I can't do that anymore, or not as well as I used to. I can't move 
as well as I used to. I used to be able to jump up from a, from a seat and go sprinting down the hall. Now I can't do that. I have to struggle just to, just to pick myself up out of a seat and go several feet to the restroom. I used to be up in the morning, you know, Johnny on the spot. Now it's like I'm looking for new excuses to stay in bed. We eventually all get old. And I don't want to hear it. I don't want to believe it. Eventually we all get old, eventually we all die. And it concerns me a little bit. It concerns me on a lot of levels for my own personal, my own personal uh, situation. Getting older means that uh, there are a lot of things I can't do, a lot of things I can't move, many jobs I cannot take if I, if I were able to work. And I'm getting a red light that says that the says that this is being unstable. So I'm going to have to, to cut this off right now because I, I don't know if you're getting what we're doing. I don't know. I'm not getting any feedback. I'm just being re, re, redone anyway. Here's the point I'm trying to make here. I have become very convinced that there are some jobs that young people can't and should not do. There are jobs that people in the middle cannot and should not do. And there are jobs that people at a certain age, after a certain age, they should not be doing. And one of them is running this country. Now I put what I'm about to say up and I got a lot of anger, especially from friends of mine. I don't know why I, uh, why I uh, tagged them for this because I knew I probably was going to get, get blasted and I was, righteously so. But we need uh, an amendment that would fix up a lot of things in terms of this election. We should not have to go through what we have been going through for the past two years again. And one of those things just happens to be, you know, the fact that we have a whole lot of people who are at advanced ages and they want to run a country. Joe Biden could very well be 80 years of age by his second term. By the end of her second term, um, President Warren could probably be 77, 78. Our current president right now is the oldest man to ever have taken the oath of office for the presidents of the United States. And then here comes Bernie, who may very well be 80 by the time he uh, becomes president if he's elected. And all of this, you know, anyone can do anything in this world, it's a bunch of rubbish. Best president we've had
wasn't even 55 when he left office. Wasn't even 55. Then again, you know, uh, W was 60 himself. And I know a lot of people bring up Reagan, but, you know, Reagan was starting to, uh, starting to, to uh, work through the journey through Alzheimer's disease by the end of his term. Now, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe, maybe, you know, age really doesn't matter, but apparently it does. No, that was not a critic. <laughs> no, that was not a critic. But I would like to see a, uh, uh, an amendment to the Constitution that not only uh, sets up additional uh, requirements for becoming President of the United States, it also sets up age limits. That, you know, if you're over a certain age, maybe you should not go for being president initially. Now, if you've already been president, you're going for the second term, you know, you know sky's the limit. But, but uh, if, you're run, if you're running for president, I think that you should be a person who is a vital person. And again, I know there will be people who are going to yell and scream, and that's all right. I could care less at this particular point. But as I was debating with the person who probably by the end of this uh, audio tape may be my former best friend in the whole world, there's something that that person said that really is the crux to all of this, not just the age of a president, but all of this. That person said, we need to save the country, and if it takes a centenarian to do it, someone who's a hundred or older, if it takes a centenarian to save the country, so be it. And in that one sentence is everything that is wrong with this country right now. There is no savior that will come and help us. There is no savior. Someone will not be coming down the street, a white knight in a white steed with a with a staff and, and point it to the problem and it, it and suddenly either disappears or turns into to, to gleaming white laundry. We now know what the uh, Ajax white knight now We are in peril, ladies and gentlemen. And the thing that we can't do is keep looking for white knights to, to, to save us. This world is a problem that we all created. I created it, you created it, everyone create, created it. You perpetuate it, we perpetuate it by our thought processes and our beliefs and our, our no thinking that we know that all we need is that one person. You know, like, like a FDR. FDR was going to save us. The problem is that FDR was part of a grander solution. FDR was not going to save us 
from the depression. Now, there are some people who say the person who uh, uh, saved us from the depression was whoever gave those um, Japanese flyers the uh, orders to uh, bomb Pearl Harbor. But saving a country is a joint venture. It would be nice to have a, a leader who will say, go forth and conquer or whatever. But people are the ones who go forth and conquer. The president now says go forth and conquer in a nice, comfortable bunker somewhere where no one sees them. The only people who are going to save ourselves from ourselves are ourselves. You don't need, for instance, in terms because this is the big weekend of uh, climate change protests, you don't need to sign something to do something about climate change. You have to make the decision to do something yourself has to do that. Now, if no one does it, then we deserve what we're going to get. We deserve, hell, we really deserve Donald Trump. We deserve him. Our prejudices and our timidity And our stupid beliefs have gotten us to this point. We are responsible for Donald Trump. And we are the people who should do something about him. We're the ones. No, I would rather the person who would the pulse. That's my preference. If you want, I've I've realized that I can't stop anybody from doing that. I also believe that I cannot get you to do something that you need to do. I have no viewers right now. I'm not going to have any viewers when I post this thing up on other social media. I'm not going to have those people. A lot of people will just... I don't have boobies. I don't have the thing that... It but I'm going to keep on talking as we all sink into the mire maybe somebody will turn on something and he'll or she will hear this and said you know, he's saying something that would have made sense if we ever you know listened to it we are the solution we are our own savior unless you're looking for Aunt Harriet or crazy Uncle Joe or even crazier grandpa to save you it's not gonna work it's not gonna work We need to save ourselves. And that's basically the, the main crux of all this. We need to save ourselves. We need to, we need to start doing that as soon as humanly possible. And so ends this rant. I will talk again. I hope you can join me.